Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and today's of which is on um, what you're looking at too, but it's mostly three of the Glatorian Legend sets from 2009. So we'll start off with the canisters of a couple of them, because why am I not showing the third one at cars right now? Because special reasons, but anyways. You see above the golden Bonacle logo, the name and picture of the set that comes within, and you can see a bit of the scrawl sh shield or symbol there, or it's actually the maze for the great beings. And you see Lego logo, Glatorian Legends logo, the Choking Hazard, and the age group, uh, set number, and the amount of pieces. And also to note is that Mott Nui and few sets had equaled 52, and Two of which were equal to 55. Kind of interesting how that is. And for the lids of the canisters, I'll show one is. See, so has the rigid thing, and this thing in the center is kind of like the top of the Viserax ones, but it's kind of not like that. Probably representing the parts of the uh, Atero arenas and things. And if you look from the back, you see add of all the Glatorian legends together and also add for the uh, fourth Bonacle movie, The Legend Reborn from the time it says new movie out, of course. And how to shoot the Thorn Axe, the bio code, how to put them in the canister, and add for the Bonacle action figure game that there's the barcode and all the usual warnings. And from the sides of which is has Bonacle etched into it and Bonacle.com and now, an interesting comparison with these canisters is compared to the uh, Winter Glatorian's ones. See, kind of the same, but Bonk.com switched around. And it shows that, yes, they are quite stackable. For that. It's what the bottom part is. Right? So, for like the first half of 2009, this is, I always wondered how that is for that. But suddenly, and but then the summer wave rolled around, and it was answered, and they fit on each other. And also, the lids are can fit on each other as well. And as you can see, the although they may not match up as well, but whatever. Uh, oops, hang on a second. And so now onto the booklets. And well, on the front of the booklets, same picture as on the front of the canisters and everything. On the back, I uh, went on the online survey. Uh, for Lego Club, add for Bonk a Legendary Born DVD movie, Fall 2009, of course. And then that little thing for the action figure game, but with all the legends and the vehicle sets for the time, and huge instructions on how to play the game, same as the uh, Winter Glatorians ones. Then the pieces that come with him, and the last building sets. And now, Kinas, same stuff. After the old Bonkle website. Then after the Agori sets, but with their names alongside next to their set numbers, which is everything in this manual. Then two smaller vehicles. Then the three larger vehicles from that time. And add for all the legends. Add for the movie again. And the pieces that come with the set. And the last steps. First of all is... The God and of Bonacle and the Living Legend, or the Legend of Bonacle, Mott Nui himself. Of which, quite cool for that. 
has this color scheme mainly of orangish yellow or as we all call it, keto orange mixed with black. Although some kind of prefer would prefer gold a bit, but at least this is better, quite fair. At least until the Titan version, which oh, which is next next throwback Thursdays. So for the legs, which simplistic of and like feet and limb, but it's him and Akar both have these new shin guard pieces, which do kind of resemble the Mask of Time. But if you like, put them there. Which are connected on there quite as easily, of course. And we have the annoying rattling. And of course, these did carry on into Hero Factory first wave, but the uh, villain set Rotor kind of fixed that. That's the uh, language, the shorter limb piece, but instead the elongated for the arms, of course. And have Matoro Mari's armor in that color, and also these little knot pieces, which are easy to put in. But although the length two rods are should have worked in much better, but hey. And as for the main torso, same exact Inika copy built for that, but of course with the Metro armor, so similar to that of Mystica Odua's, but except in the yellow key orange uh, chest plate piece, great for mocks. And as for the back part of which, same as the Winter Glatorians, but you know, with the life dial and all. And as for the arms, which he and Kina and also uh, Vastus and also uh, Perditus, the driver in the Thornatus V9 set, First, to introduce these kind of limb pieces, which are kind of like the regular of the Zerac limb pieces, but it, instead of having the holes, holes right, or three pinholes there, instead it's two pinholes and a plus rod hole on the sides. Of which, great mocking, but although unfortunately kind of broke easily over time, but whatever. And Mott Nui's case contains not two, but four. Of the new Scara or Scarabax pieces, two in the yellow for his arms and two for the shield, which if broke apart, which of course resembles the jaws of a Scarabax beetle, which of course resembles the polybag click and the beetle click that he doesn't has on in the movie. And of course in the movie, a yeah, uh, click kind of turns into this shield, which I think they should have included an extra piece to resemble Click's face for when he says, which you can see for yourself. But anyway. And if you take apart, then you put it like that, then get the unity, duty, destiny symbol, and by itself resembling Voyanui. So kind of interesting of pieces they are. And of course, although Matanui, not the only one in this wave to have that, which at Carville too, but whatever. And for the other army, just a regular Thorak. And of course, he hand pieces like Ranus and the Thorak Slaughter, same as the other uh, Glatorians and Glatorian legends. And so, of course. And as for the head of which, of which is, of course, the or Ignica, the Mask of Life. Kind of similar to the one that Toa Ignica from Winter 2008 had, but except it's a little bit smaller and, of course, modified a bit to fit on the Glatorian heads and like that. And, of course, blue, good choice for him, which kind of stands out a bit and, of course, making uh, look good to him, uh, of course, and yeah. And next to which is Akar. His major probe with him is that his color of Mata Red, or Bright Mata Red, where for like the last few sets, well since 2004, went over to the Dark Metro Red, but he which first one to bring back this Bright uh, Mata Red. Great for mocks, of course. And as for the feet, basic Anika feet, but 
the thin kind in orange. Same thing as Mott Nui had. And also the Anika uh, armor pieces in orange. So good recolors to him all over. And just like what uh, Pohatu in the Rocco T3 set had but used for him, but of which basic Anika build, of course. And as for the arms, similar build, but of course, also the uh, Mari Nui Torrent Daggers in orange, like we've seen on the Power Miners line from the time, and then Vaki limbs in bright red, and hand pieces that are great, which ticked off a lot of people, although it would have been better if they were in orange, and matching the rest of the color scheme. But although maybe so, could have had a little more gray to him to represent ashes, of course, even though this kind of bothered a lot of people. But it's just fine, because, you know, represent ash in fire characters. But, you see, same scarab piece as Matsunui had, but with a flame sword piece, which major improvement over uh, Takumata's uh, flame sword, more flamey and all. And, of course, and of course, some people did kind of use a similar build for that for Mott Nui's sword, or which he uses in the movie, of course. And of course, the only other time we've ever seen this uh, flame sword was on Tahu Stars, of course. But the other weapon of which, just a regular Thornax launcher, even though in the movie, did have a lot of shields they got from other battles, of course. Back part of which is a silver covering for the game dial. Oh, quite nice. And the helmet of which, if I take this off. Oh, wait. Same as Barrack from the winter Glatorian Agori wave, but except in red and yellow. But although it does work for both water and fire, of course. And same Glatorian headpiece as the others did. And lastly is Kina. which also quite cool, but also quite unique and different than other ones. That the legs, first time of these spiky pieces, or spiky foot pieces in bright blue, quite nice for mocking. And as for the rachi limbs in black, in dark blue, and also these uh, side range uh, pieces just like Matanui and Vastus had but also in Sprite Blue, but only one to have four of them, rather than two. And of course, G, which first one to ink only set to ever have these long thin pieces, which quite go very long and whatnot. And of course, only time they were ever reused was in yellow on the Sendox V1 from this year, as well as, uh, what is it? Uh, some sea turtles set in the uh, Atlantis line from 2010. And although, kind of like with most sets, kind of long and lanky, like her hands past her knee. And as for her uh, helmet here, which does look kind of like a stingray or manta ray, you know, with blue and silver mixed in. Going long ways out, of course. And top part like the others. And, and for the torso, which is a Vaki limb piece, but in bright blue. Which, if you bought oh, uh, two of this, then that's great for mock making. And if I like to take that off, then you see this unique uh, build to it. Has the coat hanger, uh, Technic beams, and Hordika head necks. It's holding it together. Quite interesting in build for that. So instead of the like usual Anika builds that they used for years prior, but this is which new and different for that. And of course the game dial as the other ones did. 
unfortunately kind of gets in the way of her head articulation unless if you or some people probably just flipped it upside down to do that and also you get the hand pieces and also in the sprite blue color and also get her trident or double end trident and which of course in Legendary Born movie can shoot water and water energy straight from and also the other one of which is again the thorax launcher like all the Gatorians have anything else to say uh, not much but yeah and so now on to with the final verdict So my overall verdict is these I think are uh, quite cool sets for 2009, even though they were for the second half of it, since of course second half of the year gets kind of exciting as well. And of course, first time of getting Matanui, well, twice in one wave that time of course, and they have which a lot of great mocking pieces to them, like unique coloring and of course Akar, first and only time or first time of getting back to Mata Yellow or Mata Red of course which we haven't seen since 2003 and of course Kina unique different build to her with the custom body piece and all and yeah and of course they have which some of the main stars from the Glatorian Legends movie and all and yeah and if you still have these sets from back then well, I hope you had some good memories of them, and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say truly go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.